Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all, and happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian um, subscribers. Thank you so very much. I was just watching uh, Ruthie, and she actually got up and sat on where Jonah normally sleeps. Oh, my goodness. She's, yep. She wants to get close to Jonah. But when Jonah gets close to her, she goes into his event. So, anyway, um, this is my second go around. So, I am probably repeating myself a hundredfold. And, um, oh, there, I got one. Uh, because I don't, I don't remember what I was talking about, but anyway, I should say I did, oh, I'll go through this again. I did 307 stitches yesterday and I'm at 4.05%. <laughs> I will show you this after I finish stitching on it. I do have my new arm here for, I don't know that. That's, it's supposed to tighten up there. So, I don't know, but it, it's my stitching. Um, I've got so many. I've got three of them here now set up. It's just like, it's like a, a spider. I don't know where to look. I've got my magnifying lamp. I've got my thing that holds my um, cross stitch, and I've got the one for overhead, which I can't really use. So I may just stick this one over there. I'll see. But then it might come across there and I don't want that. So. But we shall see. We shall see. So I am working here with 520. It is one of the colors I found yesterday, which is awesome. I'm going to have to see how it's going to take me a little bit here of getting to try and find my way here, how this will sit, because this is new to me. This is brand new to me. And the reason why I've got this here now as another arm there to hold my my um nerge is because i was finding it very hard my hand was very sore yesterday arthritis and um which is something i don't um i don't you know and carpal tunnel and stuff like that right so this i don't I don't, I'm still trying to find my way. This is, I'm trying to get, um, is that? Now, this is supposed to hold this. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't even know where I am. So, okay, that's 90. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then I'm up. Is this where I'm at? Is this where I'm at? Let's see. Oh. Okay, found it. So I'm going to try this. I am going to see how this 
works for me. Uh, it's, um, I still prefer stitching in hand, but I'm finding that with, um, did I show you a picture? I thought I showed you a picture. Well, if I didn't show you a picture, this is where I'm at. So I'm right over in this area, right about here, I think. So it's just that that was the color that showed up. I, I tell you, this is going to take a little bit of getting used to. It's like having five arms on me. And trying to get the hang of how each one will work. So, um, I'm not sure yet. Oh, is that how that goes? Why do I have that there? Because I'm in the wrong spot. Because I'm in the wrong spot. That's why. That's why it's not going right. And, oh. So, um, yesterday I had a new lady join up. I have to get what her... Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, yep, right here. Okay. I'm so disorganized today. As you can probably tell. Um, okay, so um, she is, and she does have a YouTube channel. And um, it's, come on, go. Um, I'm just trying to see what her... Uh, I had, uh, I'm trying to see here. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. Crafting His Way. And her name is Angie. And she says, I love Jesus and how he has saved me. In so many ways. My gifts from God are crafting as much as possible. I've so many projects, she says. Cross-stitch, embroidery, sewing, quilting, knitting, diamond painting, coloring. And I'm always ready to learn a new craft. I love diving into Bible study and spending time with God. I love scripture writing with my different pens and markers. So Angie, welcome. And I'm hoping maybe some of the other ladies and gents will maybe go and take a boo at your channel and uh, check you out. And um, we need to support each other. So I'm not sure where you're from. It doesn't it doesn't say there. Um, if you're in the States, if you're in Canada, if you are, and where you live approximately, it doesn't have to be the street address. We're not asking for that. Um, and that, so please go, um, if you don't know yet, I do have a dedicated Facebook group. And that, too, is called Stitching in the Interlake. And if you would like to join up there, you must give me the name of one of my two sidekicks. Absolutely. And one here is absolutely underfoot. I know. They're hungry. I have to feed them. I have not done it. I cleaned the litter box out yesterday. Jonah's outside. Oh, Ruthie's watching the birds there. And she's watching the birds on TV, not outside. And, um, yeah. Mm. 
So, okay. So, I am going to get this here. Ugh. Mm. There. That's a little bit better. I, I've just got to get used to this, how it sits in this. I know I'm sitting at a non-angle. I'm... She's right... She's right on the TV there. That Ruthie girl. And uh, Jonah's outside. And he wanted to go outside. They're both mad at me because I haven't fed them. So. I, I think I might have to change this around because I just don't. It's just not sitting right for me. But that's part and part of, part and parcel, eh, part and parcel of the learning. Yeah. So. I do find that stitching two-handed is, is better. When I stitch in hand, whether it's in the hoop or out, I like to um, do the sewing method. Yeah, this is this is still not this is still not right for me. Okay. Yeah, it's it's going to take a little bit of getting used to here. Because don't forget, I have um, stitched uh, the sewing method for years and years and years. Sorry, my iPad keeps falling. Not falling, sliding. It just keeps sliding. So, okay, so that's two. Oh. Yeah. So I hope your Thanksgiving is going to be a good one, full of family and friends and togetherness and absolutely always remember thankfulness. Be thankful for all that you have, the family that comes to visit you, the meals, the, um, you know, there are a lot of people who are working today. I used to work every holiday, every holiday when I was a nurse. And um, because we needed the money and it was, uh, I think it was time and a half. And because I was part time, it was really beneficial. So last night, I didn't have as good a sleep. I had a nightmare, or nightmares, plural. And, uh, of course, when I woke up, I was not feeling good. And, yes, indeed, uh, a migraine has settled in. It's not that bad right now, right now. But that does not mean it's not going to get worse. Yes. So. It's. Uh, okay. Go here. It sure gives your arms a different kind of a workout but the way that it is right now it's not right for me I have to figure this out more this is just not I just threw this together now 
yesterday it was on the live and if you join me for the live thank you so much if you're watching it on replay thank you even more always remember to like share subscribe comment always like that but um anyway um yeah we were talking about lowry stands as well as other ones and um now i don't know about you lowry stands are way out of my budget they're not even in my budget they're like as far as way as the furthest um solar system or universe or whatever way 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 beyond my capability because we were figuring it out and the cost of it for Canada would have been $350 plus shipping. I know they have it that it's free shipping and it was Lindy Stitches that had it. Um, free, sh free shipping. I always do that because nothing is free, right? Anyway, um, they, um, like in the U.S., it was free shipping in the continental U.S. But as soon as you get to, uh, that it comes to Canada, and this sucker's heavy because it's metal. Just like wood would be, right? So, um, just a second. Oh, I don't know why I've got this so far away. Come on. Oh my gosh. Go this way. Go back on. It's just a comedy of errors today, I'm afraid. Okay. There. There. Come on. All right. Now I got it. Oh, stop with this. Okay, there. And I go here. I don't know why I started way over here. Like, really? Could I have not gotten something closer? <sighs> but anyways, if you've got one of these Lowry strand stands fantastic I think that's wonderful now I see that a lot of people they will have these stands and then they pay all that money and they have it for only a year and they got to sell it because it's just it's just not comfortable and I mean, it's, each person is different, right? There is no shame in it. So, it is, um, um, that, you know, I've got this cheap, cheap one that I got, I don't know, I think it was on Amazon I got it. And it was only for $25 or something. I don't know how good it is. I really don't. I, I, I don't know. And it's, this is the thing I have trouble with. I don't know how yet. I know a lot of people, they bring their thread out on the top side. And they, uh, and they snip it off. That to me is such a waste of thread. I know it's like, what is it, a reverse 
uh, a reverse pin stitch or something. I tell you, if you saw my table here, you'd cringe. You'd wonder, how do I do this? How do I juggle all of this? <laughs> I tell you, it's an art form. <laughs> it is an absolute, <laughs> it's a talent I've got that I can do this. And uh, <laughs> not everybody can do it. <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's a mess. It's a disaster. Absolutely it is. Okay, so where am I here? Nope, that's not it. So this is 20. So this is back here. Okay, so right here. Ah, now we've got it where it's closer. So, I am not aiming to move the hoop at all. I don't want to move the hoop until I'm ready to move the hoop. Now, I know I was watching um, Kim Hollenbach. She's in the UP of Michigan. Saginaw, I think. She's in, I think. Anyway, um, which in all reality is not that far away from me. Not that far. It's far enough. Like, I, if I lived in Thunder Bay, it'd be a lot closer, right? But anyway. Um, so... I think it's her and yeah, I'm sure it's her that I watched and she likes to do all the black first. Now I know I've done a few projects, but they were all um, printed and I've worked on the black first. So, but So, but I do like this because it takes pressure off of my hands to hold the fabric. I just need to get one of these, what, what do you call them? The... Um, Things that go around the, the hoops and, and um, um, Q-snaps and that. Uh, what are they called? Um, dirt guards? Grime guards. Grime guards. I'd like to get a couple of those. So I don't have them. I never thought that I would ever use them. So if anybody knows somebody who does them, I would love to have one. And if you gift it to me, I would love it even more. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Doesn't mean that you have to. I'm just saying. Only if you make it or you have somebody who makes them, you know, that you can get it for dirt cheap. That it doesn't take much. I can't sew to save my life. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. And besides that, if you saw the way my house is, it's um, until they get it all finished there in the back. Like I can't even do laundry because I, um, it's not that the laundry isn't hooked up. I could hang it outside, but I moved my um, 
I moved my um, clothes rack outside. So now it's not attached to the deck. So, so I can't do laundry until they get it all fixed up. Oops, slid down a, yet again. So I'm actually liking this. It's a little bit slower, of course, than stitching in hand. But that doesn't mean, like, if I have a project, like I printed one or something, I will probably still stitch in hand. It is just this project that is, uh, the fabric has gotten too soft for me. And uh, I like a stiffer fabric. And um, this works out easier for me. So, uh, I'm going to be reminding you all this week that the next live will be this Saturday, the 19th, I believe it is, the 19th, instead of Sunday. Okay, so remember, same time, same place, except different day. Okay, and that is because, and if you follow my channel, you know, Father, Father Paul comes the third Sunday. And uh, Mass here is at noon. So by the time I get back here and by the time I get going and everything else, like my day is... Um, you know, it's it's already late. So, and then there are times when Father Paul likes to come and visit. And um, so then he stays until about, oh, I don't know, two o'clock or a little after. So, um, and then he heads over to St. Teresa's. Now, most times he goes over to the Havakin for lunch with the, some of the people. And um, so, um, so if he does that, you know, it, it would be. But then by the time I have lunch and get myself set up, it's already 1.30 and um, yeah. So, so please remember that on Saturday, there will be the live from 12 noon to 2.30 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And we're still on Daylight Time. Yes, we are. Okay. And I know there were, uh, there was one person who said, oh, didn't know what time. Well, I'm on Central Time. Okay. So just check Ask your friend, look on your clock, uh, like on your phone, and just put in there, if my time in wherever is this time, what time is it in Manitoba? Okay? And that will help you out a lot. So, but anyway... And always remember to give me a like, share, subscribe, and comment if you're able to. I know there are a lot of people who cannot comment, and that's okay. If you give me a like, I'm more than happy. You can go over there, like I said, to the Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. All you need to do is give me the name of one of my two sidekicks. And I've already mentioned them, as I do every single video. And I usually mention their antics and what they're up to and, and all of that. Yeah, so um, it's, well, I'm enjoying this here. This is good. 
but I am finding like my shoulder feels different because I'm using a different, I mean, it's good to do this because it keeps this mobile. So, yeah. All right, my sweeties. All righty, here we go. Now I got to mark this off. And I can tell you how many stitches I've done. Uh, here. And I've done a grand total of 33. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get more done. I am going to go and make a um, um, cherry cheeseless cake. So I'm going to do that. I I am able to get the um, the already made um, cream cheese. So, but it's expansive. So I don't make the dessert that often. So, but anyway. So, all right, everyone. I'll show you this in a minute. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. And so does Ruthie, who is somewhere in here. Joan is outside. I'm going to feed them. They're going to be happy, hopefully. Yeah, so I... I think so. So please go and check out this lady. Um, just a minute here. Let me get her name again. Um, so I can tell you. Um, oh my, no, 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 that wasn't it. This one is. She is Angie and it's, uh, she is crafting his way. Okay. Crafting his way way so i've already subscribed to you angie um i think it's wonderful what you do she just does short videos 15 minutes long or so but it doesn't matter the length right just praise his name thank you jesus for being my lord and savior thank you for saving me from my sins thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. Okay, everybody, have a fantastic day. And if you're celebrating Thanksgiving, be thankful and merciful and or not Jesus is merciful. That's not where I was going. Ask for mercy. And always pray for others, right? So have a good day and we'll see you tomorrow. Toodlittles, everybody. <laughs>